Session 22. So tell me what you have felt over the last few weeks. Well, I feel like someone has been watching me. How so? It's like this feeling I've been having. Um, in the day, the house is too quiet, but not empty. Like it's hiding a secret for me that I'm not supposed to find. Anything else? Yes. Things have been shifting around in different places. Um, like yesterday, my dress in my closet keeps moving around in, di in different places. And I feel this pressure. Pressure? Like behind my eyes. Like when it rains, only it hurts more. I feel like something in my closet is breathing. But it's trying not to be too loud so it doesn't wake me. Amy, we've talked about this before. Overcoming depression is not easy. And it's common to suspect the worst in everything. But these fantasies of yours, they're crippling you. Listen, I know that it's been about nine months since your mother died. It's been hard losing her the way that you did. Yeah. Hallucinations have been known to manifest when recovering from an emotional trauma. It's not uncommon. I miss her. Listen, I know it's not been easy, especially since you were so close to her. But you can beat this. These things that you hear are not real, and they'll only bring you down. I'm sorry, but that's all the time that we have for today. Amy? Depression, fear, all of it is something that only can be defeated by you. So the next time that you are afraid of your closet while well, I just want you to go and open it. Face it, head on. And you'll see that everything is just fine. Okay. Session number one. So let's start at the beginning. Would you please tell me who you are? Alex Fisher. Uh, so you have expressed to me that you've been having some familial difficulties over the past couple of months? Yes, with my sister, Amy. I'm adopted. I know we look nothing alike. And I know she's one of your patients. How do you know that? My ex-fiance is a private detective. He owed me a favor and did a bit of digging. I hope you understand that due to doctor-patient privilege, I can't divulge I any. That's not what I'm here for. Well, you mentioned your ex-fiance. Is that something that you would like to talk about? There's nothing to say. It happened a long time ago. He said I could never trust anybody enough to be close with them. Do you think that's true? Probably. I could even speak to my sister. Why not? It's been five years. I can't just walk up to her and say, sorry, mom died. She stabbed herself in the throat with a pair of scissors. I mean, what do you say to someone after that happens? Please, if you would, tell me what it was like growing up with her. It was difficult. 
My mom was told she'd never have children, so they adopted me. When Amy came along, she was a little miracle. When that died, mother got so protective of her. What was your sister like growing up? She always had an active imagination, especially as a child. But even when she grew up, it never really left her. She was a lot like mom in that way. Ironic, I suppose. Why do you say that? Her full name, Amaterasu, is the Japanese goddess of the sun. Ami was supposed to be a bright light that shined through the darkness. But that never seemed to happen. Do you think your relationship with your sister and your mother has affected the way that you connect with other people? Maybe. Hmm. Alex, I recommend that you do something that is not easy. Confront your fears directly. Why don't you give her a call? Talk for a few minutes and just see where things go from there. Doctor, do you think she's getting better? Honestly, I don't know. Voices? Yes. And then what? Was there more than one voice? No. Then what? I found something. What did you do then? I ran upstairs. It felt like someone was following me. Ah! 
And is this when you called the police? And did they find anything? No sign of forced entry. No fingerprints. No scissors. No. Listen, uh, I really didn't want to have to do this. But your lack of sleep has me concerned that your condition is only going to worsen. So I'm going to prescribe you some medication that will help with the hallucinations. And I want you to come back in three days, all right? Okay. Now go home and get some sleep. And I'm going to give you some medicine that will help you with that too, okay? This is wrong. This is what mom was like before it happened. I think we need to give it enough time for the medication to kick in. Mom heard voices too. She said it was dad. I know mom left her the house, but if things don't get any better in the next few days, I'm gonna ask her to come stay with me. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Yeah. Amy, is everything all right? Is something different? I hear them. There's voices calling out to me at night. I'm scared to go, but I'm scared to stay. Like there's a spider building a web around me. There's a shadow outside my door. If I move, I'll anchor it. There's noises. Bumps, footsteps, scraping against the door. There's breathing. What else? Things move, always moving. My favorite dress, I can't find it. The air is so tense. Like someone wants to speak but won't. I can't speak first. I can't speak first. They won't let me. I can hear her. Who? Your mother? She's looking for her scissors. She's warning me. She's warning me. Emmy, your mother is dead. Emmy, I'm going to recommend that you leave the house first thing in the morning, and we'll get people to take care of your things later on. Doctor? Yes? I can't leave her there alone. I can't leave her there. Were there any indications that she was suicidal? She was having problems with paranoia and hallucinations. She was very troubled, mm. but I didn't expect her to take her own life. Are there any recordings or videotapes that we should be aware of? No. Mm. Right. Thank you for your time, daughter. Officer. Yes? I hope you don't mind me asking, but how did she die? She fell. More accurately, uh, she jumped. Well, that's... Very unfortunate. Good day, Dr. Abner.
So there was no one in the house? No. What about the door? They said I probably didn't fully close it and soon back open. That I was imagining things because I have been recently traumatized. Listen, I know I'm not your... I just don't think it's a good idea for you to go back inside that house right now. Until some time passes. Well, I have to go. I have a date with a certain someone I have to get to. Greg, don't blame yourself, okay? There was nothing more you could have done. I know. But I don't know where the spider is. 